hello welcome to excel for application in this video i gonna share dynamic data validation here we can see the two data list one is here we can see the blank cells below that based on this customer we can see the blank cells here and the other one we have here without blank cells so how possible without blank cells that's what i'm learn we are learning here so we have to make the name manager first formulas go to formulas i have created two name name manager here one is custom and one is other one is customer one we can go through the first one how i made it i'm just editing the first one name manager it's A range is starting from B4 to B100. After B9, all the cells are blank. That's why we have seen the blank cells in the data list. So we need to remove these blank cells. That's what we are going to learn now. So go to the data again. Data validation. List. Here. The name range I have mentioned on the source customer one. Customer one. We can see the blanks here. After B9, all the cells are blank. Now we can go through here. See here, there is no blanks. So I have made another name range without blanks. I'm adding one more data here. Seventh group, new customer. And customer address also I'm going to enter now. Germany. Customer number also. We can see the customer name only here in the data list, our list. Seventh group is there, but still the remaining cells are blank here we can see it's dynamic there is no remaining cells how it's possible i may i am doing here the offset function in order to make dynamically so let's go through the formulas and name manager here we can see the first one with the blank cells that is custom custme this is with the blank cells the second one is customer one so I have made the other that list where I mentioned the new name manager this is customer one if we have used the offset function I'm going to I'm going to tell you about the offset function completely right now offset function and count a function I have used then it made dynamically so we have to learn the offset function if you don't have any idea now is equal offset open bracket first is the heading reference not the there are four arguments are there reference starting rows starting columns height width so first one is the heading reference this is the heading only so first argument i am making here customers that is the first argument second argument rows rows means how many row i am going to move from starting point if it's one means from customers it's moved to first group if it's zero means then the same row i am mentioning here column as zero because it's in the first column zero is the default so the third one height height means the first two we learn it's moving point height means from moving point how many rows we need to return how many rows if it's one means the first group only will return because it's the first row and zero column and 
default it should be 1 height and width also default 1 that means first group we have written here in case I change the columns moving point instead of 0 I am changing as 1 then it's moved to USA let's see how we can change it the first starting heading then one rows instead of 0 I am changing as 1 then it moves to USA we can change it here as 1 let's see it's moved to USA so the first row row 1 see here row 1 and the 1 means here the second column instead of 0 I can make it as just comma just put the comma means the 0 column 0 column means the first column that is first group we don't want to put the 0 there now we need to we learn how many rows we want to move from how many columns we want to move from so in case I put 1 then it's again USA now the third and fourth argument height and width we want to learn the first this one means how many rows we want to move from the how many rows we want to move for example if I put the height as 2 means 2 rows 2 rows it will move see here USA and India because our we have starting point and first row and first column so from where it move two rows height means two rows how many rows in case I put two columns then we can see here it's from starting point it moved to first row second column from where two rows and two columns so there are four arguments it's very simple quite simple four arguments the first one starting point that is not important then rows and columns and height and width now we can go through our example here see here starting point one row starting point one row and zero column that's why I put it here comma there then I use the count a function that is the height count a I am using from b4 to b100 count a only count all the data except blank cells it count everything except blank cells whereas count only count only numbers so and the last one how many row columns width only one that is enough one is enough let's check here the count a and count function here how it works count a we can start from equals count a starting point b4 till b15 i can enter here b15 it's count 7 from first group b4 to b10 it's 7 we got the result as 7 because 7 only the 7 cells are non blank cells the remaining are blank so only whereas count only count only the numbers only so this is 0 in case I enter any number then that will count it so I can enter any one number here or else we can use here I can enter one number here I can add one number 1 let's see 1 so only count the number only we have 1 that number it's counted in case I put count a it will reach to 8 so this will count everything except blank so this is the way we are making here the dynamic cell I'll mention the 
link in my Facebook page the complete code and the description also I will mention the offset link offset function I will mention there in the description so the we can see here count a the third one that means height I hope you understand this video thank you and don't forget to share and subscribe the video thank you for your time thank you very much